Whew, welcome to the episode today. Um, today's episode, I, I wanted to, I wanted to bring this up, um, and I heard this term from an artist. I'm not quite sure if it's like a, if it's like an actual term. He used it, and I wanted to like it. It hit me in, in a really special way, and I wanted to wanted to mention it. Let me show you who the artist is. The artist is Tom Sachs. That's Tom Sachs. And he was talking about this thing, this type of art. And what I'm talking about here in this episode is not really art, but I'm going to follow along for a second. He has a type of art which he calls sympathetic art. Now, I'm not quite sure if it's like a real thing, if that's what it's actually called or whatever. But basically that means like, or the way he put it, and I'm probably going to get it wrong, but the way he put it is like, if you can't, I'm trying to find the right way to say this, if you can't like afford something or you don't have the means to get the exact thing that you want, make it. It's kind of like a build over buy kind of mentality. Um, and I want to talk about like that versus like the studio space. Like, like this studio space has been. I've loved this this style of look of studio. I've loved the, the 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 shit everywhere on the walls, and it's just creative space that anything goes, anything can happen, and it's shared with a bunch of people. And and, and I've dreamt about this for a while. And I I. I slowly started to, to, to kind of build it in here and you know when I moved down here to Florida I was really hoping to go get like a real studio space like go have you know pay rent somewhere else it's a really big space that a lot of friends of mine can just create in and I, I didn't have the funds for that at the time and so I built it out of my apartment. I built it out of like, this is what I, I call it my office, my studio, because that's what it is to me. I don't really see this as an apartment. I see it as a workplace. And um, so, so like, I, I, I couldn't afford it. I, I couldn't like just go out and buy, get a rent, you know, rent a studio space or buy one. So I decided to make it from nothing. And I think just that alone like has way more of a value to it for me because I know Wherever screw hole is on the wall, where the mess ups are, where where the cool parts are, where, like I I know all that because I, I did it with my own hands and I can I remember building like the, the boosted board wall, boosted board wall. That was a long time to say. I remember building a boosted board wall. I remember like thinking about it and then just doing it. I remember like I remember putting stuff up on the walls to. to like I remember the first thing I put on the wall and I remember how funny it was more of a, a joke and then it just kind of built from there and I remember I remember putting up this acoustical treatment and how and how it took hours and upon hours upon hours we tested the room and then we put it like everything in here is like meant for a reason and I feel like I couldn't go out and just rent a studio space so I just built it and I, and I just did it with my own money and with my own I, I worked really hard for this and I feel like I, I wanted to share that like maybe you have a dream that, that, that you would love to come true and for some reason it's just not or you want to do something you don't have the, 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 the funds for it or you don't have the space for it and maybe there's a way that you could do like sympathetic art like like to yourself like make it happen to the point where it feels real to you because if it feels real to you it's just real at that point like this here is technically an apartment but i see it as a studio so to me it's a studio to me it's a, it's a workplace it's a creative space it's a the only part i see as an apartment is like my bedroom like like and i i just feel like like the the studio feel just feels comfortable to me and whatever that may be for you you know it doesn't have to be from the outside from from people looking from the outside they see this as just an apartment with a bunch of shit in it for me i i see it as a studio and that's what makes it real not the fact that it is a real studio or that i just pay rent for another place other than my apartment it's that when i see it as a studio it's real and so maybe you want to have a studio and it's just an extra room in your house or or just your bedroom that you just you know maybe that's real to you 
And if that's real to you, it's real. Like, no one can take that away from you. Um, and I just feel like I had to say that here in this episode that, like, I love this space. And that's why I keep talking about it. Every time I leave this place, I just think about this space and stuff that can do better and different and change and adapt. And this, this, this place keeps evolving. Like, if you watch the studio tour, a lot of stuff has changed since then. Um, and I've already thought about how do I do a, another one? I might do another one in a few months just to show you how how much this place changes. Um, I just had to say that here in this episode. Uh, I'll also link uh, Tom Sachs where I heard about sympathetic art down below in the description. So check that out. He's a really good artist. I love his work, um, and I love I love how he thinks. I love, I love his I love his mind. Um, I wish I could just pick his mind for a few hours, or like over lunch or something. Tom Sachs. I know you probably don't watch his vlogs. I would love to do that though, pick your mind over drinks or lunch. Okay, anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode here on the vlog.